NFL full stadiums this fall. This was uh, reported over the weekend. It says the NFL is planning for the best case scenario when the season returns this fall. And according to one league official, this includes packed stadiums. Executive Vice President of Football Operations Troy Vincent said on Friday that the league is planning, quote, to have full stadiums until the medical community tells us otherwise. Uh, he said, now remember, when we're talking, we're talking about August, September. So there's a lot that can happen here, but we're planning for full stadiums. He said that while packed stadiums is the goal, the NFL is also making plans for adjusted capacities depending on the state of the uh, the pandemic when the season begins. He said, we also have a plan for half stadiums, three quarters. We're planning for all of them, but first and foremost, we're making every effort, working with the medical community. If we can have those stadiums with all people until they tell us otherwise, when that time comes, that's our plan. That's our plan of action. Um, I Do you think of, of all franchises, of all companies in the United States, et cetera, would you consider the NFL to be uh, the most level-headed, the most non... Um, I, it's not that they're proactive necessarily, but they don't overreact to anything. Do you think that? Or do they just they do what they're going to do and, and screw I think, everybody? I think I don't think it's level-headedness. I don't think that. I think they think they are bigger than everybody else, and they are. And I think they do whatever the hell they want. And I think any politician that stands in their way will bend the knee. We had the conversation with our boys on our group text with the Westlight guys. These are cats from Ohio and Chicago. And they were like, nope, no way, Chicago. No way the Bears have a full stadium. I'll take the over. I will take the over. <laughs> as soon as I saw this tweet, I knew I had that. I believe I had this right here. Okay. The, the NFL is, I've made up my mind a couple weeks ago, based on everything they were doing, reading the tea leaves and looking at how they were going forward, they are moving forward as if this thing has never happened at yes. all. It's not going to affect them one bit. And I thought a couple of weeks back, they're going to play with full stadiums. They're going to at least try to. You, you said that last Two, Monday, Tuesday on the show. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was. It was either last week or the week before. But you know, and I, I didn't I just, buy it, and and I still don't know that I necessarily buy it. I mean, you and I I'll were take talking all about overs. I'll take all overs on attendance right now. Right now, you. So I texted you earlier because I am. We're we'll have an announcement to make at some point in the very near future. But um, I talked to you about whether or not I needed to get a refund on my Foo Fighters tickets in Knoxville because it's on a Friday night, and you and I will probably be busy on a Saturday morning. Um, so I was trying to figure out, like, do you think this is actually going to happen? Um, you know, if it does, are they going to have to cut back? Uh, ben said, Iowa State said they're only letting season ticket holders and students as of now for about half full stadiums. I wonder if the NFL would do a similar thing with season ticket holders if forced. That's uh, all they're doing right now, because yeah. college football is just trying to get money any way they can. The NFL... I guarantee you, uh, where's a where's our buddy that's got season tickets for the Broncos? They got his Michael. money already. But no, yeah. no, because he, he said that they haven't uh, uh, they haven't even let him pick seats out yet. Remember? Yeah, but so, I'm gonna bet they had to pay a deposit. They've got they've got their seat like the license. first seat license. Yeah, what are, they've got they've got they've got they've got enough of their money where, where if, it matters. If Michael's still listening, jump in. Let us know what uh, what the situation is right now. Who it is up tomorrow if you don't get back in the day? So. At, yeah, Michael said they have my money. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. No, they already got that money. College don't. That's why college is trying to get what they can now. NFL's got it all for the whole stadium. Yeah. Uh, Terry said NFL will play during the apocalypse and everybody will still watch. Yeah. That's right. That's that's true. That's right. I will take all Um, overs. And any governor or mayor that wants to stand in their way, I assure you they'll bend the knee. They will all. You say, oh, well, our governor's not touchable. Bullshit, he ain't touchable. All of them are. They all are. That's I none of them as big as the they NFL. won't be Governor Long if the NFL is in your town and you thwart them. If if the Bears are the only team that says we're not having fans and everybody else has a home field advantage and you don't, oh, I assure you, they, they won't be Governor anymore. It's going to be yeah, it's going to be a major. They won't problem. be Mayor anymore. <laughs> She'll be gone. <laughs> Like they'll be gone. It is what it is. And right or wrong. Listen, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a specialist. I just know what the NFL has for strength and and the way they go about their business. You're not stopping this machine. You're just you're just no. not. Uh Terry said money always talks, uh BS walks. Like that's, that's the right. way it goes. And and to be fair, 
Uh, the simplest way to get around this, you know, you can avoid lawsuits. You can avoid everything else. Um, the way that it works is you put a waiver on the back of the ticket. On the back of the ticket. Like, it, hey, if that, you show up at this, it is on you as to whether or not you ticket, get sick, That baseball ticket, when those kids get busted in the face and they end up with all this, uh, all these stitches and, 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 and surgery on the heads and stuff and concussions and long-term damage, hey, man, not our problem. Yeah. You, sign, you, you bought this ticket, and that ticket says, I am not responsible for anything flying out of this stand hitting you in the face. I assure you, every ticket for every one of these sporting events, if they have fans. Or concerts. They'll have them. Yep, yeah, they'll all have it now. It'll just be part of it. We're not responsible. You're coming on your own volition. Have I, fun. Yeah. Uh, Michael said, we pay for the year based on the seats we had the prior year, and if we upgrade seats, then we just owe for the upgrade. Yep. That's not bad, really. Not yeah. bad. But... But I'm going to tell you, the NFL is going to – I'll take all over bets. Now, you can't say Washington is going to have a full stadium. Washington had had 14,000 people in the last three years total. Okay? True. All right? Dolphins, but whatever they averaged the, the last couple of years, I'll take I'll take the over on all attendance right now. Yeah, like attendance on – NFL, week one. You, you So, you think we'll have, like, sold-out stadiums and stuff? Week one, I'll take the over on – Every attendance stadium out there. What they averaged last year, I'll take the over on what they had last year unless it was sold out, I'll take that. Yeah. Terry said, uh, look at when that kid got hit by Almora. They uh, they took care of the hospital bills and extended the netting, not extra. But money. they didn't have to. But they, they didn't, didn't have to. Ha- they legally, just did it because they were they didn't nice. have to. Yeah. They yeah. did, but nobody made it. You couldn't, that family couldn't sue them. They just did it. Yeah. Uh, Michael said they have plenty of people that will take someone's season tickets if they waive their rights because Damn of the Rona. Damn straight. Uh, last I heard, the wait for Broncos season tickets was 10 years, last I heard. No no doubt. No doubt. That's pretty intense. That's See, I'm still trying to figure out, like, I'm I'm a little worried because I don't know whether or not I want to go to this that's arena That's a you show. thing. I, I promise right. you, if you give up your ticket and you get your money back, that ticket will be sold within the hour. It is a really damn good ticket. So that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, it, are there enough? I people? might buy that damn ticket off of you. I'm just <laughs> I'm just telling you. Like, this gonna be gone. People are going on with their lives. I think I think you're probably right. Like, I obviously we my don't want to get vacation for this the, for this summer, Fourth of July. I am gone. Uh, I'm let's out see. of here. Ben said Dolphins attendance will go up. The Finns community in South Florida has been going nuts since the draft. A hundred percent. Two was yeah. like he's but got the saying, two like, highest I, like, rated. Like uh, the, the debate and the jerseys. argument was. With, with the people that we were texting with last night, look, like the Chargers don't have 15 people in the stadium total, okay? So you can't say, well, they're not sold out there, but yeah, but they never sell out. Yeah. Washington's attendance, but all I'm saying is, is you can't hold me to bad attendance because of Rona, because those teams are terrible all the time. Just, Minnesota, just look at the going to be sold out. Chicago, going to be sold out. Denver, sold out. It's just happening, guys. Uh, Terry said, if you got the ticket, go. I was going to Green Day in Atlanta, but they canceled the tour. Yeah, I had a, a ticket for Slipknot in Memphis, which, you know what's crazy? Like, this is way off topic. I'm not that big of a Slipknot fan anymore, but I feel like I I owe it to the rock community in Memphis to go whenever there's, like, an arena rock tour. Like, it's it's some weird, like, I paid 100 damn dollars, but they canceled it. I got the money back in my account. It is what it is. Uh, Michael said, time is the most valuable thing we have, and I think people are sick of wasting it. Uh, yep. willing to risk getting sick to enjoy life. Yeah, risk and then there's... The there's biscuit, baby. That's right. I'm Business I've owners. Sat, I've sat here long enough. I'm gone. Oh, if man. I catch it, I catch it. If I take it down... But that's... I will tell you, I live a very different lifestyle than most people. I don't I don't worry about things. I just assume I'm not going to be here in 100 days. Like, I just... Yeah. I, I try to do right by everybody. I make sure I'm good with God, the best I know how to be. And good with the people around me, and and I just try to live life to the fullest. I really do. I'm not reckless. I'm not crazy, but well, those two different things. I'm not <laughs> reckless, and and I just man, I'm going. I'm going. I can understand it. I, I think Fourth I'm of probably July, we're going to be on Myrtle Beach, and I guarantee you, there's going to be a hundred thousand other people there. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I'm okay with that. Uh, my, uh, Monster Star Gaming six five two on Twitch said, "I need NBA uh, NBA playoffs." Yeah. Well, you're getting that. You, we just don't know it. what it's going to look like yet. But the, I think that is happening. Oh, yeah. it's uh, Absolutely. We just got to figure out whether or not there's going to be games before or, or if they're just going straight to it. Uh, I think ben, they're trying to finish the season, man. But I, I'm telling you, I really believe they're going to try to finish the season. If they it, get everybody, if they get all 30 teams to Orlando, they can play 
all of the games basically they can, they can have, they're, they're 18 eight, games behind. They can play those 18 games in like 30 days. Well, they, they can do 12 games a day. Um, well, yeah, they'll play every basically half the teams will play every day, and you'll just play every other day. Boom, 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 boom. boom. It won't be that big of a deal. It won't be that hard. Ever you just play every other day. Michael jumped in. He said that's a great way to live, Chris. Absolutely. Now, before we jump off this topic, Ben said Slipknot Gary G's. Ben, look, I saw Slipknot at at a club in 1999. All right, I was how old was I? I was 16 years old. Like, come on, man. I, I, I like metal. I but I'm not a big fan of them now. I just felt like I needed to go. I am friends with uh, with Spencer, the singer for Under Oath. Um, so we we toured with them for a little bit when I was back doing the rock thing when he was doing Sleepwave instead of Under Oath. Um, so I felt like I needed to support. I don't know. It's a damn arena show for a rock band, and, and we don't get those in Memphis. I felt like I needed to support. Either way, the show's damn canceled, so what does it matter? Like, I got my money back. Uh, Terry said, you went to ICP. You can go to Slipknot. I did go see ICP a few times. <laughs> the Insane Clown Posse. That, that shit was ridiculous. I've got a buddy of mine that's a juggalo, and he has tried to get me <laughs> to go he, multiple times. Is he a times. real juggalo? He's hardcore, man. <laughs> And I'm not going. I'm not going to call him out. Not at the hill. Never. He's never listened to this four day in his life. Doesn't know it exists. Okay. <laughs> um, and and he and I'm going to tell you. He has tried to get me to go. That that is a group. I'm terrified of that. I am. I it am is afraid of that. It's the craziest shit I have ever seen. I'm also in my too life. old. If I was going to go 20s, maybe you can get me there. Man, I'm knocking on 40. No, no. Oh, there's no chance I'd it. go now. There's no, no. chance. Uh, ben said questionable music choice. That's all I have to say. Look today. All you're going to find me listening to is Jason Isbell, Will Hogue, Lucero, that kind of stuff. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm chilled out. Leonard Skinner, you know, what, Foo Fighters, whatever. That's what I listen to now. I, I sit back, I relax. There's this, uh, this band. Hold on. I got I to gotta shout them out um, because they're not huge. But, um, but I've started listening. What are they called? Wild Rivers, I think. Pull up my Spotify. Um, but they are... Absolutely fantastic. There it is. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Wild Rivers. Uh, they've got a new EP out called Songs to Break Up To, and it is really good stuff. Like, very easy listening, you know, whatever. Um, let's see. Michael said, I can't do ICP. Look, I went and took pictures. Like, I, I've been I've been running websites for, when am I, 37? I, I started a website when I was 15 years old that reviewed concerts that came through town. Like, that's a 20... Two years? I mean, Jesus. So I've, I've been doing the, the online thing for a while, and ICP was big 22 years ago. <laughs> so They were big yeah. 22 years ago. Um, Michael said, I can't do ICP. Terry said, the juggle has almost got Gary Seekers. Yeah, they, they absolutely did. I was terrified. That's, I, I didn't go near that stage. They were, they were throwing out Fago and shit. I, I couldn't, oh, get, God. couldn't get down with it. Um, we're in that Alabama shot to it. Oh, yeah, I was wearing Alabama crap to the – I wore, I think, my jersey. So, like, my basketball jersey. <laughs> I was, like, what was I, 18, maybe? I was in high school. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, let's jump into the next topic here. NHL. 